The solution to these problems is called gamma correction. We have two separate wishes. We want to compute our renderings in a linear space, and we want to compensate for the power curve of monitors when we're displaying. At its simplest, the equation's just this. You take the computed channel value, you raise it to the 1 over 2.2 power, and that gives you the value you need to display. This value of 2.2 is called the gamma correction value. Older Mac displays used 1.8 or so, but now 2.2 is the norm for all monitors. For example, say we have a value of 1.0, 0.6, 0.2 in our linear compute space. We raise 1 to this power and we get 1 back. 0.6 raised to the power gets 0.793. Finally, 0.2 gives us 0.481. Notice how each channel changes by a different factor. 1 didn't change at all. 0.2 more than doubles. This is why color shifting can occur if you don't gamma correct. Gamma correction is something that's applied to the whole image just before display. If you try to do it yourself, you have to be aware of precision problems with your input data. For example, if you have only 8 bits per channel coming in, you won't be able to get 8 bits of good data coming out. The good news is that 3JS has gamma correction built in. All you have to do for it is ask. One last detail is that when you look at a color swatch or a texture on the screen, you're seeing the monitor's power curve version of the data. If you want to use that data properly when computing lighting effects, you actually have to raise each channel's value to a power of 2.2 before using it for anything, either making mipmaps or making images themselves. 3JS uses an on-the-fly approximation, squaring the texture's color when it's sampled. To sum up, whatever we see on the screen is in this nonlinear gamma space. To use it in lighting computations, we want to make the data linear, so we raise each channel's value to the 2.2 power. We perform our lighting calculations, then at the end we go back to the monitor space by raising to 1 over 2.2. Here are the corresponding 3JS calls. Some GPUs and APIs have built-in capabilities for dealing with gamma properly. Unfortunately, these aren't currently accessible through WebGL or 3JS. Internally in 3JS, there's some approximation of gamma, so a value might be squared instead of raised to the 2.2 power to bring it into linear computation space. To see the effect of gamma correction, take a look at the demo that follows.